Good morning. I thought I would just share a quick little video uh, for anyone who might be interested in uh, just eggs in general. So this has to do with how the air cell changes in eggs uh, from the time they're laid over over time. So I have a little assortment of eggs uh, and I'll explain as we go at what point in the last week each egg was collected uh, and you'll hopefully be able to see the changes in the air cell that I want to share with you. Uh, always best to try and do candling type work in a dark room but it's morning time, the sun is out and not a whole lot of dark places in our house as a result. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, all of this is so fascinating to me. It's part of why I love raising waterfowl. I'm sure this concept holds true for uh, all kinds of birds and all kinds of bird eggs. But um, let me know if you liked it. Thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great day. And um, here we go. So uh, the first one I'll tell you was the warmest one that I picked up out there. So I knew it had just been laid. Sometimes they're still a little bit wet looking. Uh, even right after they've been laid, but I missed that, so I'm guessing my girl laid it, and then I opened the door and she ran on out to get her breakfast. So this one, let me first tell you, uh, on an egg you've got the little pointed end, and then you've got the, the blunter end, and the blunter end, the wider end, is where you'll find the air cell of the egg. So when eggs are first laid, that air cell is small. Um, and then over time, it it grows. And if you're hatching eggs, you can candle the eggs to see how much that air cell grows. And the purpose of the growth in that air cell is to allow more oxygen for the bird that's developing so that once he internally pips, he can breathe inside the egg before the outside of the shell is broken so that he can hatch. So this one, interestingly enough, again, laid just before I picked it up, there's no air cell that I can even see. So if it doesn't have an air cell, obviously this would not be a good egg for incubation. But here's another one that I just picked up this morning. Oh yeah, great example. I hope you can see that. Okay, so that circle there, I'm going to try to get the camera right. That little circle that, there's, there's my finger for reference. So that's uh, not quite as big around as a dime. That's the air cell in this egg. Again, just laid this morning, so it's going to be small. This is uh, this size and a little bit smaller is what I usually see on the eggs that are freshly laid uh, when I collect them in the mornings. And I do like to check them when I collect because my girls are so good at hiding things that uh, there are times when I'm, I might find an egg and I think it was just laid and it's been sitting out there a couple days. So. Oh, look, here's another. This one is still warm to the touch even now, and I do not see an air cell. Again, I got my pointy in, got my blunt in. Eggs should always be stored in the refrigerator. Air cell up, so blunt end up. That helps prevent that air cell from um, expanding much more, and it'll keep your eggs fresher a little longer. Okay, so that was... Uh, from today. Those are eggs that I collected today. Here is an egg that I collected about three days ago. Two or three days ago. Let's see if I can get a good angle so you can see the size of that air cell. Okay, yeah, let's just go there. I hope you can make that out. So right here, again, here's my finger for reference. Fingers right in the center of the air cell. And that air cell is probably about as big around as a nickel. So again, over the course of the last two or three days, that air cell has expanded. And then here's an egg from about a week ago. Let's see if we can get this one where you can see the air cell. I hope you can see it. Uh, I'll try to put some little enhancements on the screen to outline these for you or get some still shots and outline them. Again, finger right in the center of the air cell. This light is just so bright. Okay, maybe you can see that. That is about, that's bigger than a quarter. 
also uh, a lot of uh, expansion of that air cell over the course of a week. We have started keeping a lot of the eggs in the refrigerator again just because uh, it looks like my girls are going to start consistently laying a little bit more. I expect to go out and collect another two or three eggs at least today because I've got some girls that are laying a little later in the mornings than others. Uh, so the last probably four or five days for sure I've collected um, five and six eggs a day. Whereas after the goslings were born, for whatever reason, and maybe it was just coincidence, uh, girls were only laying one or two eggs a day, and some days I didn't find any eggs at all. Now, there's always the possibility, too, that they're laying them out by the pond since they get time out on the back pasture every day. Uh, and there could be nests out there. There just could be random eggs laying around. I sometimes find random eggs laying in the backyard. So I'm sure I miss, you know, a couple of eggs at least every day but uh, in years past during peak laying seasons my girls you know would lay between 12 and 18 eggs a day uh, so I'd like to get back to that because we donate the eggs that we can't use to Good Shepherd Rescue of Texas the German Shepherd Rescue that we're associated with they're super healthy for people and dogs and so our medical hold dogs or dogs that need to put on some weight dogs that don't have an appetite the duck eggs are really really nice to have around anyway so just a little quick egg lesson for you this morning and uh, I hope it was interesting have a good day I will see you in the next video hey that's Bye. all I've got for you for today I want to invite you to um, come back again visit with us if you like this video please give it a like um, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and help us grow uh, and be sure and check out uh, the rich cat wretch merchandise available through our zazzle shop um, I'll, I'll have a link for you right up here uh, and uh, we hope to see you back again soon thanks for watching